First, go to Create Cat and select the front plane. Select line, construction line. Click here in the midpoint, make a line here with 525 millimeters. Okay. Make another line here from this point with 525 millimeters. Okay, go to sketch dimension. The angle between these two lines here is 37.2 millimeters, 0.2 degrees, sorry. Okay, we have this. Select line again, make a line here with 490 millimeters of radius, okay, which will be a, an arc. That's okay, go to sketch dimension, click here, and this point, the distance here is 10 millimeters, okay. Now select line again, click here in this point, make a line here. Go to sketch dimension. The distance between this point and this line is 488 millimeters. Okay. And the distance between this point and this point here is 723.45 millimeters. Okay. We have these, okay? Now go to create and select arc, center point arc, click here in this point, then this point here, make an arc, remove the construction, okay, make an arc to this line here, okay, now click in this point, make an arc, sorry, Let's create another arc, center point arc, click here in this point, in this point here, make an arc here. Okay, select a circle, click here in this point, make a circle here with 52 millimeters of geometer. Okay, select a line, make a line from this circle to this line here, and from this circle here to this line. Okay, go to constraints, select tangent. Select this line and this circle, this line and this circle. This line must be parallel with this line here. Okay. Go to modify, select tree, cut here and cut here. Okay. We have this. Okay. Now go to create again and select, no, select line. Click here, make a line here with 20 millimeters. Make another line here with 20 millimeters. And make a line here with 20 millimeters. Okay. This line here, remove this parallel. This line must be horizontal vertical. Okay. Like this. That's okay. Now, go to create, select arc, center point arc, click here in this point, and click in this point here. Make an arc to this line, okay? Okay. Just to see the dimension here, okay? Where you see the dimensions, that's okay. <clears throat> now we can delete this, okay? Let me put the radius here. Okay. Okay. Select line. Let's make here. Click here in this point, make a line here with 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. And another line here with 20 millimeters. Let me go to sketch. 
20 millimeters. All this line has 30 millimeters. So go to collinear, click in this line and this line here. Okay, we have this. Go to modify, select the tree, cut this. Okay, we have this. Now go to create, select arc, three point arc. Click here in this point, make an arc here and make another one here. That's okay. This two arc must be tangent each other, okay? And select tangent again. Click here in this arc and this line. And go to coincident, click in this point and this line. Okay. Go to schedule dimension. This radius is 50 millimeters of radius. And this radius here is 100 millimeters of radius. Okay. Okay. Now select the line again, construction line, click here in this point. Sorry, we can continue this line here, okay? And make a line here from, from this point to this line here, okay? Go to sketch dimension, this line has 120 millimeters. Okay. Go to modify, select the tree, cut this. We have this, okay. And make this coincident. Click here and coincident here. Select this line. And this line here. Just drag this a little bit. That's okay. It's coincident and make this point coincident with this line. That's okay. We have this, okay. Now go to line, construction line, make a line from this point to this arc here, okay. The angle between this line and the midline here is 40 degrees okay select the line again make a line here with 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters okay go to constraints coincident make all the points coincident these two points must be coincident with this line okay and now go to console and select parallel. Click here in this line and this line. That's okay. Select the line again. Make a line from these two points. You'll see that has a, a, a straight line here. Okay. That's okay. Now go to create and select the circular pattern. The object is this line here this line this is square okay make sure to take the right line here the straight line that's okay the center point is this point here and distribution is partial okay and the angle here is 84 degrees and the quantity is 7 and press OK. We have this, OK. Now, let's go to create a line again. Click in the construction. Click here in this point. Make a line from this point to this line here okay go to sketch dimension the angle between this line and this line here is 22 degrees okay select the line we'll make a square here a rectangle sorry click here in this point this line must be 35 millimeters this line 40 millimeters 
and this line here 35 millimeters okay go to console select constant click on this line and this line here okay this line and this line everybody here is constant go to parallel select this line and this line here in this line and this line here okay we have this now what we're gonna make create a point in the mid of this line here okay make this coincident with this line okay select the line and close the rectangle here from this point to this point okay okay now finish the sketch go to extract select this profile here select this circle okay that's okay the direction here symmetric measurement whole length and the distance here is 40 millimeters operation new body press okay we have this go to modify select fillet select this edge and this edge here the fillet here is a hundred millimeters press ok we have this you can add some color here press letter A I will choose this wood ok it's a kind of wood here sherry well, you can select any color you want ok no problem and now go to body create a component from this body here create a component from this body we call this base okay okay here we finish the first step to make the shell chair so thanks for watching subscribe my channel for more see you in the next video bye bye